Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, glad to have you here. If you're a returning favorite, welcome back. So today I have a post burn review for you of the new Kringle Candle Botanicals fragrance. It's available in the large two wick soy wax tumbler, the medium two wick soy wax tumbler, the three wick <laughs> um, painted, it's right here, 100% soy wax, um, a daylight, <laughs> and I think coming soon, wax melts so this is this candle right here this physical candle right here um was sent to me from uh by kringle early on to preview for you guys um this i purchased so full disclosure um and as you guys don't know i am actually testing a four wick version of this exact same fragrance so um follow along on my instagram and i'll post some updates um in the community tab here but i did do a full uh, a first burn of that yesterday and so i Posted the initial and then some thoughts after a few hours. But uh, so let's talk about Botanicals by Kringle Candle, uh, the fragrance and the burn quality itself here. So um, this was after almost at the halfway point, I got this down basically. This last one here, this last burn, uh, was way longer than it should have been, but that's fine. <laughs> um, I watched it the whole time. And uh, they say don't burn for more than four hours. I know Kringle has, you know, you can burn these longer. Um, use it your own risk and watch it though. Um, so the set notes on this read, Lily of the Valley, Pink Jasmine, Rose Water, Morning Dew, Orange Blossom, Hyacinth, Green Bamboo, Lilac Leaves, and Meadow Grass. So uh, I am so glad that a candle finally has Hyacinth in it. I think a lot of companies are scared to put Hyacinth in a candle um, because it, just takes over and they actually put lily of the valley in here as well which is another fragrance that just takes over right those white and purple florals and i mean hyacinth can be purple pink yellow white all those other colors but it's just you walk into somebody's house and they have a hyacinth you know plant like for easter you know what hyacinth smells like right it's unmistakable uh, and that's what you get in here you get a lot of the hyacinth lily of the valley and the greenery note like it's almost like walking, like I grew up going, like my family owned a flower shop and whatnot. So that's part of the reason why I'm so huge into flowers. I kind of grew up in the florist, um, designed um, my own wedding flowers, right? My wife let me do that. Um, but it is an intense floral fragrance. So the hyacinth, what, if I had to describe what three fragrances I get on this when burning, hyacinth, the greenery note, right? and then the Lily of the Valley. Uh, it's a strong candle. It's not for everybody, right? Um, and I said this in my initial haul. If you don't like floral fragrances, do not buy this candle, right? Um, if you like floral fragrances, go for it. Um, this can be burned outside on the patio, like the spring or the summer, and you'll smell it. Uh, I had this going and it filled the whole house. That's why I said on my live with Mick that this thing is like a 10. Because if I can be burning it in the basement and it's filling the whole house, that to me is a 10, right? It traveled up the stairs. The door was closed. Main floor, second floor, right? Um, I haven't burned it on the main floor yet, but I just know the performance is going to be there as well. Maybe it won't travel down as much, but it certainly will travel um yeah and the burn on these soys have just been really good um i didn't trim these wicks at all and you can see there's no discoloration or any really or any real wick drippings i don't know what that is per se um but i don't know but i didn't trim these i could possibly trim these on my next light um but if i just let them go it would be fine so here is what this looks like. We have the the painting, like the watercolor painting label there. And then here is the painted three wick. 100% soy, right? Same wax. So good. But you can see it's sort of like different flowers. Um, those almost look like hibiscus flowers. A little bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, so and then also on the bottom of these new ones, these three wicks, um, they do have the scent notes on there, 14 ounces. These are $25.50 for 14 ounces. This is $29.50 um, for 22 ounces. 
And uh, if you want to save some, some money, you can use my code Philly Candleman. It saves you 15% off your whole purchase. Um, save you some money there. They're not on sale yet because uh, they just launched like a week or two ago. New, re new releases, it usually takes them a while to go on sale. I know some folks are like, oh, I need, you know, the, the new stuff to go on sale. Um, and these being the spring lineup, they're, it's, it's actually called spring slash summer lineup. Um, they'll be around for a while because they're like the, the core of the, the fragrance family for this, uh, the spring and summer. Now, Easter was just released yesterday. Um, I'm recording this on Tuesday, by the way. I don't, know if I'm I don't know if it's going to be posted Wednesday or Thursday, but um, Easter was just released yesterday. Marshmallow Chicks sold out in less than 12 hours. Sold out, I think, in like, uh, really was launched at nine. I think by mid afternoon or early evening, it was gone. Um, the other two have, as of this filming, which is, you know, uh, Tuesday, uh, they had around 50 each. So, you know, these limited releases, right? You got to pounce on them um when they come out apparently so uh i ordered all three of them a few of the marshmallow chicks it's a, it's a lemon marshmallow fragrance uh so by the time i get those to review they'll probably be sold out <laughs> but um i'll just record a view anyhow in case they come out next year i know uh, i think easter is going to be a bigger deal next year uh that being said there are more launches coming up right there's uh about 30 some three wicks that are going to be coming out and a lot of those are going to be um some older scents some newer scents um but yeah i don't have an exact date on those i know there's a birthday cake fragrance coming out um that has like balloons on the label and there's like a there's one that has like butterflies on it I don't know if that's like a like a wildflower fragrance. I'm not sure, um, but yeah, those, those are all coming out. So uh, just <laughs> pace yourself, budget right. Um, don't go broke buying candles. Don't go on the debt buying candles. Um, at the end of the day, it's scented wax, right? That's why that's why I tell folks it's just scented wax. Um, but yeah, just uh, be picky, enjoy what you can, enjoy what you want, and uh, there you have it. There, so. All right, so I would recommend picking this up if you are a floral lover like myself. If you are not a floral lover, stay away from it. <laughs> Don't waste your money on it. Um, three wicks versus two wick. I think in this fragrance, it doesn't matter strength throw wise. I think the performance on this is just fine and dandy. This will probably amplify it a little bit more. And holy cow, that four wick <laughs> uh, just on first burn. Um, yeah, it'll fill a mansion. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, stay safe out there.